Okay, so what's the what are the benefits of actually playing anonymous chess, casual chess? You don't know who, what the rating is, who you're playing, etc. So when I'm playing these anonymous games, I don't know who they are, I don't know what level they are at. So the only thing that we've got in common is we're actually playing this game of chess right here, right now. And the position that they've got is what I've got to deal with. And what they're offering on the table is what I've got to try and provide my answers to. So numbers are out of the equation and the art of chess starts to evolve. And you can focus on just playing that beautiful art of chess. That's why I like playing the anonymous because at the end of the day, I just want to play chess. I'm going to go in with a three minute, see how we get on. All right, so nights out. Let's just bring our night out. Is it going to be the four nights? It's going to be the four nights. But they're ahead of us, don't forget, just because they started first. So when they start blasting through with the pawns, we have to make sure we're doing the right thing. Queen is supporting the pawn, knight supporting. So they will be leading if they're starting to blast through. This knight still protect, pawn still protected by the queen. Don't really need to lose any sleep over that. I'm going to bring the bishop out. It's almost identical mirroring. And let's just open up our dark square bishop to make space for castling. So it is like a mirror effect, basically. But I'm not doing it to copy them. I'm doing it for my own rationale of I want to make space for my king. So this is where the mirroring stops because I don't bring my bishop out and attack here. I do sometimes, but um, I want to just make sure that everything's tight before overextending. Let's castle now. So they'll be thinking, well, if I double the pawns, it's going to be championing. And I'm really not a fan of this type of thing here. I think I've done it myself in the past. I'm like thinking, well, it doesn't really do a right lot, does it? I'm going to hit the bishop. So he's going to take anyway, unless he's deciding to come here. But it seems like it's a bit of a waste of a tempo. He has gone there as well. It does seem like it's a bit of a waste of a tempo. Knight can come here and attack the bishop. Opening up space for attacking this pawn when the bishop takes, it can take. Unless, of course, he's going to go here, but then the knight will take. Any other magic? No. Let's attack the bishop. I don't think he'll go there. I think he'll go back. He might have an entertain jumping here, causing some sort of strange confusion. Don't want to overthink it. It is a three-minute game, and he's not interested in any of that. I'm going to take this bishop off the board. I'm not sure what this knight move was um, doing here. And, oh, we're going to take this knight off the board first. And then we'll take this pawn. Try to make a bit of space towards the king if we can. I don't think we're going to get away with it. Try to squeeze here attacking this pawn. Because it's going to get defended. But then maybe try and do a squish. We really need the rook in there. To do a rook rover. So it might be a bit too slow. Okay, so I'm going to bring the queen here. Attacking the pawn like we said. If we can manage to get across here push this pawn up and get the rook across he's not doing that so we're going to go with this or we can put the check on the king first do we put the check on the king first take because this bishop's going to come back isn't it putting a check on so it allows us to put the check on here he might escape don't really want them escaping so the bishop has gone there. We can't block it anyway. Just bring the queen here like we said. It's going onto a white square. We're not really going to get it, are we? Push the pawn. See if we can get the rook. No, 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 no. Let's slow it down then. Let's get this rook here. Because we're not going to get it in. The rook is on the pawn. So we might have to do things differently. This pawn's got no protection. They may realize this drop down, but 
we can focus on pushing onto this pawn here if that happens. Looks okay. Nice looking here to jump here to get this pawn. Ouch. Okay, so let's go with the knight attacking the queen. It's attacking this pawn as well, but we haven't got anything else there yet. And plus, the queen is blocked. The king. Oh, this is exciting. So, I don't know how we can get... We want to get onto the white square to put a check on the king. He's not going to let us do it. Okay, so he's on our queen. We're on his queen. But we cannot get to his king. Oh, he's going for the trade. What can the knight do? Can the knight do anything? I can't squeeze here. Can I? Could go there, but knight's blocking the way as well. It's just that his queen will take the knight. I've only got 40 seconds. Damn, dude. Oh, I got into long play thinking then. Oh, that's ridiculous. Let's take. Oh. Let's take. It's, uh, it's my knight trapped. Oh, my knight's got. Oh, he's got my bishop as well. Looks like it's all over, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's go here with Bishop. Allows us to go here. Oh, he's on 21 seconds as well. All right, good stuff. Let's take. Just move fast now. Oh, let's attack another pawn. Let's take. He must be landing on something. Come on. Rook here. It's going to take a pawn. No, oh, he's doing some magic. He's got my bishop. Oh, I've got carried away. Oh, no. Ten seconds. Oh, no, this is not good. This is bad chess. This is bad chess. Ignore everything now. Ignore everything. This is bad chess. It's not happening. Nothing. It's, it's bad chess. Sorry. Okay, 30 minutes, zero game. Let's capture and let's push the pawn as we do. Right, let's develop the knight. Okay, what is all this? They're taking a long time over the moves as well, so we could take this pawn, but he is crowding out my area. I think there's method in his madness, he's one of those slow, deadly players. So we'll take the pawn because it seems like it's a free gift. But we'll see how free a gift it is. And then next move will tell whether I go into my shell and just play nice and safe. Nothing worse than playing a, a mad genius who takes their time and they just slowly but surely just rinse you out with every move. No errors, no mistakes, but just perfect rinsing out where you feel you can't do anything. This might be one of them or it might not. I'm going to bring the knight attacking the knight again. That was not the genius move I was thinking they were going to do. I thought they were maybe bringing the queen here or something. Or even just going for the basic disturbance of here. Let's um, attack. Does have the open space, but it looks like we've just got the obvious defences with the queen. I'm not really seeing any craziness at the moment. Not enough crazy for the time they're taking to make the move. So we maybe we're gaining advantages. So we'll do this one because I think that's an obvious move. Oh my gosh, they're not doing anything I'm saying. They're giving up pieces. All right, so maybe we can just relax and chill a little bit now on the mad genius stuff. And just focus now on trying to improve our position. If there's any checks, etc. Bishop's blocked off by our pawn structure here. Okay, so breathe a sigh of relief. We're not playing a mad genius. They're just taking the time. I may as well go and get some um, something to nosh on.
Oh, they've made a move. Let's go with the simple defense. Just take the queen. Castle. All simple stuff now. There might be a champion at end games. This might be the way that they like to play, you know, giving up pieces. Maybe their position is better than ours. Taking, just keeping it simple. We can afford to trade down. Owning the file with the rooks, keeping it simple. Real basic, basic chess. And for me, I think I'm just bringing the king across. So if they take, then at least we're owning the file with the rooks. All simple, basic stuff. He doesn't have to take. But then we can start moving looking to own a little bit more of the file with the rooks. Bishop's gone in front, so it does give us that time to go here with the rook and look to see if we can double up. And it's given us time to actually bring this here. I think this rook is coming to defend this side. We do have two pieces on this pawn. His rook is defending and the bishop's defending. But what I'm visioning is that if we do take, 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 then we get this rook off the board. Almost for free. Not anymore because the king is there, but the king is actually blocking the rook from defending the pawn so the bishop can actually go and attack it. So I'm going to attack the bishop. I'm going to take the rook off the board first and take the other rook and then just take the bishop. So we've got a minor piece up. So playing it nice and safe now, just hang back with the knight. Don't get it trapped up there so the king can take it. Get our king into the centre of the board. And just bring the knight back. Just bring it back. Don't do anything fancy. We could go here, putting a check on, but it's inviting the king down. So let's just hide the knight here. And just push. Just get the king up a bit. I always end up pushing and then they push the pawn and get the king, you know, tempo on the king. I'm going to push onto this pawn now. If they're locking down, that's fine. I'm going to hit the pawn. So you still have to know what to do in these sort of endings. Because they can go horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. He's probably got sights of trying to get his king here, but his pawn's just blocked the way now, so he's never getting into there. Which is good for us. So we can now just bring the king up, I think. Some would say just push the pawn, push the pawn, but I'm just thinking get the king into the game if we can slide over here but at some point. So he's got loads to think about now, both sides. So it's going to end up being, hopefully, a Zugzwang situation. Small pawn move here, small pawn move there. Eventually, we'll probably get to this side. Yep. Let's just push big. So he runs out of pawn moves. Looks like the signal's going. Left the game. Yep. Okay, claim victory on that. Interesting game. Working towards the end game. Yeah, nice. Okay, three minute game. Oops, not started yet. Let's just attack. So it's uh, 
short play game. Let's get rid of the long play thinking. Move quickly, move quickly. I can think slowly, but I've got to physically move quickly. Just take. Let's get the bishop out. King safety. X-ray through to the queen, also giving the king company. Keeping the king with some company, and again. Attacking the queen, smaller piece attacking the high piece, can't move this pawn, so I'm going to have to just move the queen off of the line of the attack. Move that same piece twice, interesting times. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Don't analyze the situation, let's just move. Move the king. Get ready to start attacking the king area. One. Knight's nice jumped, attacking the bishop. I'm still happy. Let's go. Take. Let's move the pawn. Pawn's protected by the bishop for a brief moment. Smaller piece attacking the bishop. Queen squeezing through, attacking the pawn. So attacking the pawn. He's going to move this. He's going to try and get his king here so that this rook puts check on our king. And this bishop is actually blocking that way. So he could, it could get an instant checkmate at some point, really. So we're going to have to try and keep the checks on. Is ooh. Yeah, we've got nothing supporting white square bishops not coming here could go there blocking so that he can't do this rook rover rook here taking the pawn we're gonna have to give it a shot one two minutes at the minute so we have an overfall trying to improve that position. This pawn definitely is needing to move. But the scary thing is when it does move, we've got the check on the king. Then the queen has to come and save the day. And then it's checkmate. Yeah, so let's put the check on the king. It's still checkmate, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. It's getting away. Let's checkmate if we go here, because then he can't get away. 